Tokugawa Ieyasu founded and was the first ruler of the Tokugawa shogunate, ruling Japan from 1603 to 1868. Born during the stormy era of the Warring States of Japan, Ieyasu established himself as a pivotal figure on the political scene following strategic alliances and military victories. His shogunate set up a 250-year spell of relative peace and stability in Japan, known as the Edo period. Ieyasu was born in 1543, when Japan was fragmented into several warring states, each under the control of a feudal lord known as a daimyo. Initially called Matsudaira Takechiyo, Ieyasu was the heir to the Matsudaira, a minor clan that ruled the Mikawa region. He came from a warrior lineage, but his clan was besieged by much more powerful forces. It was common in those days to have members of noble families as political hostages to secure alliances or cease hostilities between rival clans. Ieyasu was repeatedly taken hostage during his childhood. Age just six, he was sent as a hostage to the Imagawa clan, one of the region's ruling families, to ensure the loyalty of the Matsudaira clan. During his stint as a hostage, Ieyasu was given an education and military training, which was key to his development as a leader. His experiences as a hostage, together with the political instability of the time, gave him a profound understanding of the complex networks of alliances and diplomacy required to survive Japan's complex political landscape. Throughout his life, Ieyasu would change his name several times, a common practice among the samurai elite of the time. After Matsudaira Takechiyo, he became known as Matsudaira Motoyasu and finally adopted the name Tokugawa Ieyasu after forming an alliance with Oda Nobunaga. The relationship between Ieyasu and Nobunaga started to develop after the Battle of Okehazama in 1560. During this engagement, Oda Nobunaga, although outnumbered, managed to defeat and kill Imagawa Yoshimoto, one of the main leaders of the Imagawa clan. This event provided Ieyasu with the opportunity to split with the Imagawa clan and seek a more independent position serving Oda Nobunaga. This was a crucial alliance, as Nobunaga was well on the way to unifying Japan under his rule. With Nobunaga's support, Ieyasu consolidated his control over the Mikawa region and expanded his territory. During their alliance, Ieyasu and Nobunaga helped each other in multiple campaigns. Nonetheless, they kept a balanced relationship, with Ieyasu retaining some autonomy. Oda Nobunaga's death in 1582 was a crucial turning point. He was double-crossed by Akechi Mitsuhide, one of his own generals. Following Nobunaga's death, Ieyasu took an important role in supporting Toyotomi Hideyoshi, another prominent Nobunaga supporter, in his revenge against Akechi. Hideyoshi was able to find Mitsuhide first and faced him in battle. Akechi Mitsuhide survived for 13 days until he was finally beaten and killed by Hideyoshi at the Battle of Yamazaki. Tokugawa Ieyasu and Toyotomi Hideyoshi's relationship is one of the most intriguing and critical to the unification of Japan during the Warring States era. The two daimyos quickly found themselves on opposing sides in the dispute over the control of Nobunaga's former territories. In spite of the initial tensions, Hideyoshi, Acknowledging Ieyasu's strength and influence, pursued an alliance. Rather than an open conflict, they decided on a strategic alliance, and, overall, the two cemented a fragile peace. The fortitude of this alliance between Ieyasu and Hideyoshi was repeatedly tested, most notably during the 1590 siege of Odawara, when Hideyoshi deployed an immense army to subdue the Hojo clan in Odawara. Although Ieyasu was not directly implicated in the conflict, he was urged by Hideyoshi to move his troops to help, relocating from his hometown of Mikawa to the strategically vital region of Edo, where today's Tokyo is located. Rather than a direct attack against the well-fortified Odawara castle, Hideyoshi chose a siege strategy. He built fortifications around the castle, effectively isolating it. After nearly three months of siege and without a major direct confrontation, the leaders of the Hojo clan perceived the futility of their resistance and chose to surrender. Following the collapse of the Hojo clan, Hideyoshi relocated Tokugawa Ieyasu to the Kanto region. Ieyasu was granted control over the lands previously held by the Hojo, including the entire Edo region. This would form the foundation for the future Tokugawa shogunate following Hideyoshi's death. 
Once Hideyoshi understood that he was dying and had no adult heir, just a very young son named Toyotomi Hideyori, he set up a five-man council of regents to help guide the boy to adulthood. Ieyasu was added to this council and, as its most powerful and influential member, quickly became the dominant figure. By the time Hideyoshi died in 1598, Japan was on the verge of chaos once again. A rift arose between the five regents and other daimyos as to who was to lead the nation. Some supporters of Hideyoshi thought that his son should take over the post, while others supported the idea that Tokugawa Ieyasu, due to his experience and loyalty, would become the shogun as the supreme leader of Japan's army was known at the time. Simmering tensions between Ieyasu's supporters and those loyal to Hideyoshi led to the famous battle of Sekigahara, held on October 21, 1600. Forces fighting this battle were divided between the Eastern Army, led by Tokugawa Ieyasu, who sought to take total control of Japan, and the Western Army, formed by a coalition of daimyos who wished to preserve Hideyoshi's legacy and ensure that his young son Hideyori could succeed him. The battle started in the wee hours of the morning under thick fog, which made it initially difficult for the two sides to engage completely. A key point in the battle was Kobayakawa Hideyaki's indecision, who led a significant force on the Western Army side in favor of Hideyori. Tokugawa Ieyasu, knowing of Hideaki's possible wavering, had set up cannons aimed at Hideaki's position as an incentive for him to pick a side. After some initial hesitation, Kobayakawa Hideaki and his forces eventually betrayed the Western Army, striking it by surprise. Hideaki's treachery broke the Western Army's front line, causing its defenses to crumble rapidly. As the afternoon unfolded, it became clear that Ieyasu's Eastern Army would be victorious, and the remaining forces of the Western Army began to retreat in disarray. Towards the end of the battle, Tokugawa Ieyasu's Eastern Army had clearly emerged victorious. This triumph was crucial in solidifying Ieyasu's position as Japan's most powerful daimyo. By 1603, Ieyasu was formally appointed shogun by the emperor, signaling the beginning of the Tokugawa shogunate and a dynasty that would rule Japan for over 250 years until the 1868 Meiji Restoration. Once he had cemented his legacy, Ieyasu officially stepped down in 1605, handing over the title of shogun to his son Hidetada, who would become the second Tokugawa shogun. Ieyasu nevertheless continued to wield great influence until his death in 1616. The legacy of Tokugawa Ieyasu is, in many ways, the turning of Japan from a country fragmented by internal conflicts into a centralized and unified nation, which, notwithstanding its isolationism, laid the foundations for its ultimate rise as a world power.